Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you've had a great day and a great week and also a great month and a great year. So yeah, today I just made this new fire alarm demonstration board out of a box. It's not really a board, it's just a box. So how I stick my fire alarms in is I cut some holes. I cut these, I cut some holes through these through the box so I can stick my Spectre Alert Advance, which is my first white fire alarm, all of them are red. And this is the box that came in, which now that's in the way. Alright. Yep. Let's throw that out of the way. Anyways, this is my pole station. I have two of these pole stations, so I have a backup in case I lose like this one or that one. So I have two of them in case I lose either one of them. So anyways, so this one can both fit my Spectral or Advance, and it can also fit my EST Genesis. I put these little holes inside there because it has screws on the back, so let me show you. It can also kind of fit, which it, it's kind of not really fitting because I forgot to cut this up wider because this part has like a little lump. Yep, which I need to cut this out wider more but I'll do that soon it can also it can fit this pull station and this pull station so I can use either one of them but right now I'm gonna use this one just put that back there here's our except my spectral or classic is flat except when I take the except when I take um this part off so, yeah, and then I have to put some holes, well, I probably, well, I probably don't have to put some holes, so he, I probably don't have to, like, cut this up more, because, because if I do this, it's kind of, it's kind of looking more flat, it's kind of looking, yeah, it's, yeah, it's kind of, so it's kind of, like, has, a, like, a little lump, as if you take, like, this part off, so my forearms have lumps, so that's why I've cut these holes out so they can both fit. This can fit my Spectral or Advance or my ESD Genesis with, or I mean, or my, I said Genesis. oh my god. I mean, Genesis. Not, so it can either fit my ESD Genesis too or my Spectral or Advance or it can kind of, it can kind of fit my, my ESD Genesis. Except it's kind of like coming off here, as you guys can probably see. Which I don't have as many. I don't have a lot of fire alarms. I'm planning of getting a lot more. So yeah. So yeah. Anyways, I made this fire alarm demonstration board because, in case I test any of these fire alarms and I have trouble putting them on the wall, so I can use this. I can use this box to do it. I can use this box to like test them. So first, so you put this, so like you put them on here. So the pull station goes, so the pull stations go here and the fire alarm device goes there. So yeah. Anyways, let's just leave it like that. So let me show you the inside. This is the inside. So this the spectral or advanced inside. So, it won't look as lumpy if you take this part off. Let me show you. See, well, if I put it on like this, it doesn't look as lumpy. But if I, but if this part is on. It's lumpy. But if you take it off, it's not. But if you put it on, it is. So that's why I have to put my fire alarm, fire alarm devices in these holes that I made with a screwdriver. So yeah. 
so yeah and anyway so yeah which which get this out of the way I'm gonna show you all the fire alarm devices I have so yeah okay okay first off is a Mercom pulse station the model number the model number is Wait, what is the model number again? So let me open it up. Alright, so so I opened it up. So the model number is MS-401. Anyways, I'll have to reset that later. Which it's not wired up right now. Because I don't have any wires right now. So I can test these devices. So... Anyways, next is my Spectral or Classic. The model number is P1224MC. Anyways, it is set on 15 Candelo, which it's kind of blurry. So, yeah. Next is my ESC Genesis Horn Strobe, which I got for my birthday, which is last month. And anyways, it's also set on 15 Kindle, but it's even blurrier than the Spectral or Classics. It's, it's a, it's like this blurry, but the ESC Genesis is more blurry. So next is my Mercom Fire Alarm Bell, which is, which it's, which it's weird and, yeah, which it's, yeah, it's really weird and which it will be in more Fire Alarm videos soon probably. The model number is BL-6A. Anyways, this is another Mercom Fire Alarm Pulse Station. But I'm not going to open it up because it has the same model number as that one. Anyways, last is my mm, System Sensor P2W. It's the only white fire alarm I have right now. So yeah. Anyway, let's take this part off so we can, like, see the stuff inside it. The model number is SW. Yeah. Anyway, let's put this back on. So, and anyways, this is my fire alarm demonstration board and all of the other fire alarms I have. So, and I think that's it for this video, guys. So, Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so I can hit 100 so I can dye my hair blue. And hit that notification button. So remember guys, peace out. So, bye bye